this is a budget. We're having this discussion in 2013. This is a budget where you would think that this kind of discussion and debate would have to happen in another century. Because I can't believe, quite frankly, that we're still having this discussion in the 21st century. How, how do you explain that in the 21st century in Ohio, we're still having a discussion and having to object to provisions that defund Planned Parenthood, which is providing critical and life-saving services like breast exams and cancer screenings to so many Ohio women? Why are we still having this conversation in the 21st century? Why in this century are we still talking about women being forced to undergo medically unnecessary procedures? Why in the world are we talking about actually having regulations on what rape crisis counselors can tell the women that are coming to them in their greatest hour of need? Yeah. Why do politicians in Columbus believe that that should be inserted into a budget bill at the 11th hour with no debate and no discussion? Why did Governor Kasich sign these provisions into law? It's really given folks in Ohio a real sense, not just of anger, but of powerlessness, especially those provisions that I just mentioned. And I have to tell you, it is completely at odds with any life experience that I have had. Now, I had the experience when I worked in law enforcement to deal with the victims of sexual assault, both when I was an FBI agent and when I was a county prosecutor. I prosecuted people for rape and sexual assault. I dealt with the victims of sexual assault. I dealt with the rape crisis counselors who sometimes literally held their hand as they walked their way through a very difficult justice system to try to get justice. I totally understand focusing on that issue. But shouldn't our focus be on the individuals who perpetrate sexual assault, not the victims of sexual assault and those yes. that actually assist yes. them? And I'm not just saying that as somebody that's been in law enforcement or somebody that's a candidate for office, but as somebody that's a father and as a husband, because this isn't just an issue for women, and it's not just for my two daughters, an issue that would affect my two daughters, it affects my two sons because this is about how we treat women in this society and whether or not we're going to have a society where both men and women respect each other as equals. Now, one thing though that I disagree with with some of the commentary that's happened in the, the, the few days since this, this budget has been passed is what can we do about this? Look, the anger that we've heard about this, which has been reflected really across the country but across the state certainly, um, we all know that that's happened. 